Hey, Crate Diggers, I went to Record City over the weekend. Went a little crazy, but I'll tell you all about it next on Vinyl Jeopardy. So I went to um, Record City. I had never been to their second location. I don't know which came first, but I'm believing that the one that I just went to was probably the older location. Um, and it was full of records and tapes and cassettes and CDs and uh, DVDs. Um, it, was, it was just a small record store, but it was jam-packed with a whole lot of uh, stuff. Of course, I was there for records and I got a lot, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, plow through this very uh, quickly. So the first one I got was Graham Central Station. This is from 1977. And the name of this one is Now Do You Want to Dance? And of course, we know that uh, uh, Larry Graham of Graham Central Station is the funk master on the bass, also from the Bay Area. So, of course, uh, that's a, always a plus for me. The next one that I got is Eric Gale. Uh, this one is, he is a uh, jazz guitarist. And on this uh, record with him uh, is Rover Washington Jr. playing sax. This was arranged by Bob James. Uh, this is from also 1977. It still has the shrink wrap on it. So the, um, the cover is pretty good and the record was pretty clean. This one I got for $2.98 as well uh, as the Graham Central Station one. The next one I got for $2.98 was Stanley Jordan. He is a phenomenal jazz guitarist and he plays piano uh, as well. Um, and sometimes both at the same time. If you look up Stanley Jordan, you would be very impressed with uh, his playing. And um, there's also a pretty clean record for 298. Uh, does it have the year on here? I can't see it because of the shrink wrap, so I don't know. Hold on, let me check the uh, actual record. Ooh, the writing on here is super tiny. 1988, and that sounds right. That sounds about when I first became acquainted with Stanley Jordan. Um, there was this um, uh, like a cable show, music kind of show uh, in San Francisco that used to come on on Saturday nights with one of the local DJs. And I remember him, um, interviewing Stanley Jordan and I was in high school so that sounds about right. One of my other favorites uh, for guitarist Wes Montgomery, uh, this record is uh, Moving West. I got this one for $4.98 and um, it says arranged and conducted by Johnny Pate. Um, Wes Montgomery a jazz musician, uh, very complicated uh, type of uh, strumming. This is on Verve. And uh, I also do not see a year on here, but uh, it's probably 70s. So let me see if it has on anything on the inside. Uh, nope. I'm guessing 70s, but uh, this is the record going uh, moving west. Okay, don't get mad at me. I'll tell you right now, don't get mad at me. But something in me wants to complete my Bill Cosby collection. And uh, I have, I believe, after this, I think this is... I'll have to check, but I think this might be all of the Bill Cosby records that I have. Uh, more of the best of Bill Cosby. And uh, so this is kind of a mixture of a bunch of the other records that I have. Um, 
So being a completist in some regards, uh, I did want to complete this. Uh, this is on Warner Brothers. And actually, yeah, I don't know if this is going to com complete. I want to say there's one more comedy record of Bill Cosby. So anyway, I got Bill Cosby. And that one was how much? Two ninety eight for that one. And then this is also from the Bay Area, the Weather Girls with Mar Martha Wash and Isora Rhodes. Uh, used to be with Sylvester as the Two Tons of Fun. Then they changed their names to the Weather Girls uh, once they went out on their own. And um, this record has on it um, um, uh, some songs that I am not familiar with, but once I put this on, I am sure that I am going to love it. Uh, these, these women can sing. Do you hear me? Sing. Uh, both Martha Wash and Isora Rhodes. Um, honey. Uh, the most famous song, of course, that, that they sang was uh, It's Raining Men, which, of course, is the anthem uh, of, the, of some of the rainbow people. Uh, it's Raining Men. So that's one of their songs. Okay. Next, for $3.98, I got Barry White. And this is, is this what you want? Question mark. And uh, on here is Don't Make Me Wait Too Long. Mm. Your love so good, I could taste it. Now, I'm going to make love to you. Oh, berry, berry, berry. Mm, mm, mm. This is from 1976, honey. I can't wait to listen to this. One of my the next one is the other Weather Girls uh, record, and this one does have "It's Raining Men" on it. I got this one for three ninety eight, and it does still have the shrink wrap on it. This is uh, from nineteen eighty two, and it is called "Success." And this is the Weather Girls. Next one I got for three ninety eight. This is uh, the Emotions, and this is produced by uh, Maurice White. Oh, let me take this off so you can see it better. This is produced by Maurice White. This is from nineteen seventy eight, uh, and it. Uh, it has on here smile and uh, ain't no doubt about it whole lot of shaking I wouldn't lie time is passing by uh, the emotions a really beautifully uh, harmonic group produced by Maurice White I got a, another Emotions album, and this is on the stats. <laughs> That's what the kids do. They stick their tongue out. So it's on the stats label, and this uh, is the Emotions, and it is from 1977. So this came before the other record that was done uh, by Maurice White. It has on here, it says Memphis Horns, Memphis Strings, Memphis Symphony. Uh, and the emotions are comprised of Wanda Hutchinson, Sheila Hutchinson, and Teresa Davis. And um, has a nice picture of them, the girls on the back. And I can't wait to put this uh, on the new needle coming soon new turntable y'all so we'll do a uh, unboxing of my new turntable when it comes but the last one that i got 
Oh, is today Women Crush Wednesday? It is not, but this is uh, Angela Bofield. This is uh, another attempt to complete my Angela Bofield collection. <sighs> Produced by Michael Walden. Uh, there's the other picture of her. And on uh, this, it has a... A sticker on it, which is interesting. It has a sticker on here showing the um, the song. So I'm wondering if there's a misprint behind here of this album. But uh, it has the duet with Johnny uh, Mathis, which is You Are a Special Part of Me. And then it has her hit single, I'm On Your Side. And on uh, the inner sleeve has another picture of uh, Angela Bofield. So those are the records that I got at, uh, at Record City. And... Uh, what fun, because you really do have to dig. You really have to uh, go through those records there in order to find the one that you are looking for, which is part of the fun for me. So uh, that's something that I actually love to do is uh, thumbing through the records. And uh, now that I'm almost up to date on my Discogs, I can uh, stop getting duplicates of records. <laughs> So that takes a little time too. So as I look at a record, it's like, oh, let me look at my uh, Discogs list and see if I already have this. Um, but I had a, a great time and I got a lot of records and I have ordered my new turntable, y'all. So coming soon, the unboxing of my Audio Technica. Yeah, I'm getting quality stuff this time. So uh, see you next time. I'm Akilah Sunrise. This is Vinyl Jeopardy. These are my records. <laughs>